Sanjiao Tips once made a revolution in the nail industry because now you can have pretty nail extensions within a few minutes. One of my favorite brands who does one of the best Sanjiao Tips on the market, BT Artbox, launched a new product, Sanjiao Tips for Toes. My leading pedicure educator, Anna Fox, is going to do this tutorial for you, so we will do pedicure and use Sanjiao Tips. Hello guys, this is Anastasia. Let's try Xcode tips. They are made of material called BTMMA, which is a mix of soft gel. They are really strong, but at the same time they allow the ultraviolet rays to penetrate through the nail tips. So you don't need to worry if you have French nails, cat eye or any other design that they are going to be fully cured. I have two colors, one is pink and another one is beige. I already tried BT Artbox French tips for fingernails if you would like to see the video, the link will be in the upper right corner. I have to say that these are one of the best soft gel tips I've ever worked with because they have many sizes to fit any nails and they have a great quality. Tips are matte on top and underneath, so they are pre-etched and you don't need to prep them before applying. I also have this small LED flash curing lamp. We will definitely need it to flash cure tips when we apply them and two products. Number one is builder gel and number two is top coat it's pretty simple one and two medium thick consistency which means it's not going to be runny we also have this little stands and nail glue if this is the method you prefer to apply soft gel tips and a clay if you would like to do some design in advance and a fan of course so the clients will feel like royalty let's get started we have a client with standard toenails but the shape is very different so we're going to start with the prep first push back the cuticles with orange wood stick. When I heard that BT Artbox is launching this product for toes, I was super excited because I like how French nails look on toes. And if you guys ever tried doing it for yourself or for your clients, you know that it's so hard because these toes, they're so tiny sometimes and it's just hard to do these pretty smile lines. Also, if the toenails do not have a certain length and shape, it doesn't matter how hard you try, you will not be able to get this identical, perfect, crisp smile lines. So I think it's really cool that now we have this solution. Then we proceed with dry pedicure because prep is always important, doesn't matter what kind of enhancement you're about to do. I'm using a flame-shaped diamond bead with red abrasive mark. The speed is 20,000 rotations per minute. You may notice that this client has peeling toenails. And if we would do a regular pedicure without any color or enhancements, then we can leave it like that. But since we are doing tips, we need to carefully buff it off, otherwise the adhesion will not be very good. Don't forget to use the brush to clean the dust and see what's going on underneath. When we are done, it's important to clean everything from the dust. It's better to use a lint-free wipes because at this point you don't want any fuzz to be on the toenails and you can use alcohol or dehydrator for cleaning. Now that we have clean toenails ready for application, let's see which color is going to suit her better. I really like how this beige color looks because white smile line is so bright on top of it but at the same time, her skin tone is rather light, so we decided that pink might be a better solution here. I really like how they designed the sizes of these tips because they have six different sizes for thumbs, because you all know that some clients have really short ones, some have longer ones, and then they have 10 sizes for smaller toenails. So you will definitely find the right size for any type. Step one is using gel glue to apply the tips, or you can also use a regular glue. Since we already cleaned the surface with alcohol, that's all the prep we need. It's not necessary to use a base coat and you can apply this builder gel directly on the tip only, but we figured that it's much easier if you apply it on the nail too and then apply it on the tip. If you pick the correct size, you really need a tiny amount of product on the nail as well as on the tip. And once it's in the right position, make sure that you don't have any gaps near the cuticle, you can freeze cure it with a small lamp and fully cure it for one minute in regular lamp. Let's proceed to the small toenails. I really like that they added this little thing to hold them because imagine how uncomfortable that would be to hold these little tips. 
cure for one minute in LED and now we need to slightly file and shape them to get rid of this plastic residue. They file so easily, so this process won't take longer than a couple minutes. Don't forget to clean the dust before proceeding to the next step, sealing with the special Exco Tips Tap Coat, which provides a long-lasting high glossy shine and prevents any kind of peeling. It's a no-wipe top coat, so after applying it you're ready to go, I'm just cleaning the skin to make sure we don't have any dust residue. This color suits her so well, my little concern is about the second toenail, it looks slightly long for her and it's fine because our toes and their shape and length is unique, I think we should have filed it a little bit near the cuticle. Now let me show you another advantage of Exco tips and what you can do with them. Since Exco tips they have a matte surface, you don't need to buff or prep it if you decide to do some nail art, so you can create any kind of hand paint nail art or add accessories and also I thought we can easily do it before having our client I mean if you already know the size that they need you can take it beforehand and create this art which is going to save some time during the service I think that's a pretty cool idea if you prefer crystals instead of hand-painted designs, this is absolutely doable too and we can do it beforehand as well. These small holders are very convenient to place your nail art and then to use it on your clients. Let me guys know what you think about this product, have you already tried it? The links to the products that I used in this video as usual will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, if this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing, as I post new nail art tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next one, goodbye!